Hi and welcome for another video. Today we are going to talk about the discharge pipe work from the Tondish and how to calculate the diameter of the discharge pipe work. The discharge pipe work from the Tondish must not exceed the hydraulic resistance of 9 meters straight length of pipe without increasing the, uh, the pipe size. When the discharge pipe work exceeds 9 meters, the size of the discharge pipe will require calculation. So anything up to 9 meters will be fine. Everything over 9 meters requires to calculate. And also that will be include the, any resistance caused by bends or elbows. Now, I'm going to show you a table. You might be familiar with the table. Here, the first column is your valve size. The second column is a D1 column, okay, which is a minimum discharge pipe work. The D2 column, which is the third column, is a discharge pipe work from the ton dish. That is your length up to meters and your resistance uh, of elbows and bends, okay, on the last column. Now, we're going to refer to this table a lot and you need that table to do your calculations of your discharge pipe work, okay? So, let's say, as you well know, the temperature and the pressure relief valves both have half inch BSP outlets. So therefore, the D1 pipe work, as you can see from the table, the D1 pipe work, all right, can be installed in 15 millimeters tube, okay? It can, all right? The discharge pipe run, okay, in my example, it's got six meters to the final termination. But also, we have six elbows on this run, so we have a 6 meters pipe length and we have 6 elbows. Now then, using the table, we're going to use the first row, alright? Our first option will be 22 mil, okay? And the reason why it will be 22 mil is because, and this is a key feature, pay attention to this, right? Is because the D2 pipe work, which is the D2 pipe work, always has to be at least one pipe size larger than the D1. So always have to be one pipe size larger. So, so the D2 always have to be one size larger than the D1. Okay? So the maximum length of the 22 mil pipe, as you can see, is up to 9 meters. But there are six elbows on, in our run. Okay? So six elbows has a resistance of not 0.8 meters. Alright? How do we go into calculate? It's simple. It's very easy. It's very easy to, to calculate. So we have six elbows, you times to not 0.8 and gives you a value of 4.8 meters. So that is how to calculate our run at the moment. Now then, we need to, uh, to calculate or to add our length of the pipe. So adding our length of the pipe to 4.8 gives you a value of 10.8 meters. Now then, I don't know if you remember, but the 22 mil pipe is only up to 9 meters. So therefore our calculation which is 10.8 is over 9 meters. So we need to start to think about on the next option which is 28 mil. So this is when we're going to start to calculate more, more in detail. Okay so 28 mil as you can see our run is up to 18 meters um, and we, we also have six elbows which is the six elbows got a resistance of a meter, all right? Now, we're going to calculate exactly the same as we did previously, all right? So we are about to times six times one, which is gives you six. We're going to add our length of the pipe, okay? Which is six at six is 12 meters. Now then, is it 12 meters on, uh, inside of 18? Yes, it is. Okay, so which means is 18, uh, the 28 mil pipe discharge pipe can be installed. This is how you calculate the discharge pipe work. 